What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be streaming some PTCGO action today, and as advertised on the stream title. We are going to be choosing between standard and expanded format. Excited to see what you guys all think. I'll be taking requests on decks to build, things to play, so on and so forth. Standard, expanded, I want to hear what you guys want to see. I'm here to uh, serve and entertain you guys, so it's your choice today. I'm not going to be here tomorrow morning, unfortunately, for the viewer battles, the viewer tournament battles that we do on Fridays. I'm going to be traveling to Baltimore for the Easter holiday to spend with my family. So I'm going to be spending the entire day tomorrow traveling. However, I may be uh, in the ballpark to maybe get some next format games either streamed or filmed tonight. What is up, Zach? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for those bits, my man. And Zach, since you're the man with the bits here in the morning, uh, tell me, Zach, what do you want to see? You want to see standard? You want to see expanded format? What deck do you want to see this morning, Zach? Your call. Your call, my man, since uh, you're the one out here. Early bird gets the worm. That's you, Zach. So I uh, appreciate it, Zach. Thank you, as always. Uh, I am considering potentially, like I said, doing a stream again tonight. Since I'm not going to be here tomorrow morning, I might be doing uh, a bonus stream later tonight, especially if I can get some proxied uh, Unbroken Bonds uh, sets up or some proxied Unbroken Bonds decks going. And what I'm thinking about doing tonight is after I get my proxies together, I'm going to set up the tabletop camera and stream some tabletop games tonight where we're talking about uh, next format decks. So thinking about that, all right. Guys, you guys want some standard this morning? All right, I got a bunch of standard requests. Okay, it's looking like looking like standard. Zach, what do you think? He said uh, Mumu Dose. All right, Zach wants to see Mumu Dose. All right, Zach wants to see Mumu Dose. He's the man with the bits, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the situation. Zach, yeah, have you seen? Uh, you guys seen me stream tabletop? I've streamed tabletop games before, where it's just like me and either like Matt Price or Auto. So. We got a request for Mumu Dose this morning from Zach. So, since uh, you know he's the uh, he's the man with the bits, he gets the and the bit leader. I mean, yeah, his choice goes. All right, so we are going to be doing Mumu Dose to start things off here this morning as a warm up game. All right, let's get it. I'm not opposed to doing some expanded though, so we could definitely get some uh, expanded action going on this morning too. But what I'd like to do is uh, get proxy decks all figured out for the next format and stream some games with that tonight. Since I'm not going to be here tomorrow morning for my viewer tournament, since I'm traveling to Baltimore for Easter, that would be my goal. And I know Natalie's like working on getting some proxies together. All I need is someone to play with me. I think if I could just get someone, it looks like we're playing against Cafagragus. All right. With spirit juggling. Very cool. And good morning, everybody. Thank you all for joining us here on Tricky Jim in the AM. Appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys are all having a great day so far. I know I am. I went for a run this morning. Morning workouts. That's right. We're here at the gym. Everybody's here for their morning workout, right? Went on a run this morning. Almost died. Yeah, I am out of shape, fellas and ladies. Out of shape. I actually agree. I think the Whimsicott GX. Is Whimsicott GX really doing well in Japan? Grammar time, please tell me that's true. Please, please tell me it's true. Oh my gosh, that would be insane. I love Whimsicott. Whimsicott's one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Top 10. Whimsicott is top 10 favorite Pokemon for me. I love Whimsicott. And they have not printed a good one yet. They keep printing bad ones. I don't know what the dealio is. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. How do you, how do you play the Whimsicott? Tell me. What do you do to play the Whimsicott? I mean, obviously, you have to flip to attack, and that's pretty good, right? But what do you combo the Whimsicott with to make it so good? I want to hear. I know. And yes, Too Risky, you will get a cube video. Promise, all right? I think I'm going to start off with a Stellar Wish, see what we get here. Promise. It's something I'm working on. It is. Believe it or not, I am actually working on it. All right, we're going to get an S-Ball. 
Muck Muck. Oh, yeah. Zach wants to see a Muck Muck deck. All right, Zach. You want to see a Muck Muck deck? I can get a Muck Muck deck for you. I could probably do that. All right. We're going to get Zapdos here. Any expanded ROM play today? Pokemon Breeders, that's what I'm trying to do. I would love to play some expanded Pico ROM today. But uh, our first request of the day was for some uh, Moo Moo Dose. So that's, that's what we got going on. Xella sign, you down to watch some expanded? All right, we got ourselves a Lily here. That's pretty good. I think that we probably just attach, yeah, the choice band, the lightning here. And we're going to Lily for a bunch. Cool. Digging it. And we've got some Electro Powers, the Mill Tank, Tank Dad. There she is in the house. And, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good turn one from us, to be uh, honest. Right. Expanded Celiosaur. Oh, I'm not sure. I have not even considered some expanded Celiosaur yet. So... Things on the agenda. You went on a run to get a taco. Nice. Actually, Wolf Jake, that's one of my favorite things to do when I run is to run with a mission, right? So, like, there's been times where I'll, like, go for a run to the gas station and I'll, like, take a backpack with me and I'll, like, run there and then I'll, like, you know, purchase some things, put it in the backpack, and then, like, run home, right? Because then it's like, uh, you know, it's like my my... Run had a purpose, right? Excel Sun Zoro Garb, either format. I think that's, uh, I think Zoro, oh, you're going to play Zoro Garb, so it doesn't matter what format you're watching. That's fair. I think that a lot of players probably are just kind of locked into the deck that they like. I think that that's a fair point to, ble to be at right now. I know I am personally. If I was playing this weekend, I'd probably play Pika Rom, Blastoise, or if I was really feeling it, maybe like Vespa Queen or something. Those are kind of my, my three that I would probably consider. Any chance that you will eventually have actual gym vlogs? <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? Every, Alex D, every vlog is a gym vlog since uh, we're here on Tricky Gym. All right, you guys want to see this Lele go down? All right, raise your hand. <clears throat> raise your hand if you want to see this Lele just bite the dust. Anybody? Anybody, raise your hand, all right? Raise your hand in the chat. Raise your, let's see, raise your Zapdos in the chat if you want to see that Lele go down, all right? I need your energy. Okay, I need your energy, chat. Raise your raise your Zapdos if you want to see that Lele bite the dust. Just saying. I think it's about time, chat. I think it's about time. Let me know. Raise your Zapdos, chat. Please, need your energy. All right, I've got about enough Zapdoses for one Electro Power, but I think I'm going to need... Yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, very good. Okay, yeah, there's the second one. And uh, Guzma, yep. But first, we're going to Stellar Wish, because we're not bad at this game. So, yeah, I'm going to Stellar Wish, and let's see what we got here. Get another Nest Ball, probably. Search some things out. Another Guzma is probably not bad. We'll get another Nest Ball. Zapdos is king. And then check this out. We can Nest Ball, get ourselves another Pokemon. Like, I don't know, Tapu Koko, Prism Star. He's pretty good. I don't want him to get sniped to death, though, but I like, so I kind of need to be careful. It's cool, though. We'll get him. All right, and then we're going to Guzma. And he doesn't have any Absols out. Yeah, we want to, you know, always kind of check, make sure. All right, here we go. Boom. And we're going to Stellar Wish again. think it's not really anything here that I'm worried about, uh... Let's see, Guzma, Ultra Ball, it's all pretty good. We'll get Guzma. It's fine in case I want to target down something else again. And then, uh, yeah, I think I've already attached Return. I don't quite need the Viridian right now. I kind of like all these cards in my hand. I could get rid of the Mill Tank, I guess, for another Lightning Energy. It just doesn't really matter. Yeah, so he's a goner. There you go. 170 damage. Thunder Salt, it's pretty good. Lost it. I'm going to wait till this Zapdos goes down, and then I'm going to pop the Tapu Koko to get two Lightnings out of the discard pile onto both my bench mill tanks. We are uh, just on fire here with Moo Moo Dose. Look at, look at her. Man, tell you what, nothing better to waking up and playing mill tank. That's, uh, that's what I'm saying. You want to see my take on Picarom in Expanded? Pokemon Breeders, I would uh, definitely be into that. So that's something that we could do next. 
I haven't played uh, Peak Ramen Expanded in uh, probably about a month, but definitely, definitely open to kind of cracking the list open and taking a look here. Now, what in the world does this actually do? Discard any number of your bench Pokemon that's attacked has 30 more damage for each bench Pokemon you discard in this way. Okay, so he's gonna keep bringing the Giratinas back. That is annoying, all right? That's annoying, and I think that I might have too many, uh, well, it does take two of these uh, Psychic Energies to attack, though, so do have that going for me. All right, not going to lie, it's a little bit sketch, but 120 hit points as well. All right, chat. Yeah, we need some. Uh, we need something going on here. So let's uh, let's stellar wish first. All right, we're gonna stellar wish. See what we get. A ooh, we do got a a milk. All right, there's one milk. I need at least two milks, chat. Gonna need at least two to milk can in this fella. So let's uh, retreat again. See what we can do. Maybe you can find me a milk, sir. Sure enough, busted milk. All right, so he's going down. What's up, Dankos? Hello, hello. All right, so at this point, I feel like I don't want to blow up the Tapu Koko yet. I don't really need to. So I'm probably just gonna go here, switch. And I do feel a little bit concerned. I think at this point, like I am kind of worried about him like sniping my whole board to death with all these Giratinas. Because he's going to do 40 with spell tag, and then he's going to do 30. Could probably snipe like 70. It's enough to knock out one Jirachi. It's a little bit sketch. It's fine, though. We're just going to milk cannon. Reveal both our milks to the Fagragus, and you're dead. That's it. So, pretty good. What's up, Frazier? How we doing? How we doing? So, uh... Alex asking, are you targeting cardio now or you'll also incorporate weight training? Uh, I'm not super high on weight training right now. I'm going to focus on like cardio, I think, with bike riding and running just to try and uh, get my cardiovascular health back to where I want it to be. And then I probably will start uh, occasionally going to the rock climbing gym again. And that's where I really love to go to work on like my... Uh, I guess my my muscular strength and that's what I was actually doing before when I injured my knee so yeah because I just I, I personally I just hate weightlifting like it's not you know I've, I've been a born like I was a runner for like 15 years so weightlifting's always been like a kind of a weird thing for me I'm not really into it so uh, the rock climbing gym feels less like lifting I guess but does really work out my uh, my upper body so that's something that I uh, something that I'm working on yeah so I want to eventually get myself back to the rock climbing gym I really love rock climbing it's a lot of fun but yeah I'm not exactly a gym rat I just like I love uh, that's why I love bike riding and and running because it's like I get to just go outside you know and it's like a free gym membership it's not to love about that but I think, uh, yes, Mbot, actually, I do boulder. I actually don't really use the ropes. I just, uh, just bouldering. That's how I tore my meniscus. It's why I had to have knee surgeries, because I was bouldering. And I just, yep, tore my meniscus. That was rough. <laughs> All right, so my opponent ain't got it this turn. We, on the other hand, also just have to knock out the active. It's not really what I want to do. Um, but they weren't able to actually get a Yan Mask going, so like, I'm going to be totally fine. So that's fantastic. Let's go here, um, and then I think that, yeah, it's not really worth rescue stretching anything, but I kind of want to put that, and I guess I could get the Zapdos back, and yeah. I don't know. I kind of want to like pop the Tapu Coco Prism Star. It doesn't really matter yet though, so let's just uh, let's just milk cannon. We'll probably just knock this thing out. Yeah, I kind of like all these resources in my hand, so we're just gonna milk cannon. Yeah, let's reveal the milks. That's it. You're a goner there, sir. Goodbye. Yeah, the milk too strong. Way too strong. So that's uh, this is a great way to start out the day, guys. Just saying. Thanks, Zach, for the awesome request, Mumu Dose against the Cafagrius deck. 
really showing its stuff. Be getting into some expanded next. I got a couple requests for some expanded peek around. I'll throw down with some expanded peek around. I'm going to try and get proxies printed out for tonight, though. And then I also have to get a kind soul to uh, to play with me tonight. That would uh, that would be good. And then potentially stream some next format tabletop games. That would be sick. We're going to have pre-orders up for singles for Unbroken Bonds. Oh, no, he's got counter energy. I actually didn't see that coming. We're going to have pre-orders up for singles from Unbroken Bonds on FullGripGames.com in, like, literally, like, three or four hours. So those are going to be going up very soon. Sean and I just have to sit down and hash out all the prices for the cards, and then uh, they're going to be up. So they're, like, 90% of the way there. All right. See what we got here. Uh, I'm actually pretty close to being able to win this game. He needs to take three prizes to win. I don't think that he can necessarily do that. He doesn't have an energy on his Yawn Mask. I think we're cool. So let's see what we got here. Um, we can Rescue Stretcher back the other mill tank. This is kind of what I've been waiting for, right? So we can bring that thing back. Yeah, and we also have Nest Ball. So we got like a bunch of options here. Let's uh, Nest Ball first, see what's in the deck. I actually have another mill tank in the deck, so I'll just grab that. And then we have a Stellar Wish that we can use, and I think before I do anything else, I probably want a Viridian Forest away that Ultra Ball just to get myself another Lightning out of the deck, thin the deck a little bit. That's good. I do have three DCE left in the deck, so that's kind of kind of rad. Let's do a little Stellar Wish action, see what we get. All right, Choice Ban, Electro Power, both like pretty good. I can actually just Volkner, I think, for the final Electro Power, potentially. Um, and I can Rescue Stretcher, and then I would be doing enough with Zapdos to knock out the Giratina, which would be cool. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see. I think because I don't have the DCE in hand, so I think I need to do this. Yeah, let's focus. All right, hopefully my last, yeah, it's in deck. Thank goodness. All right, so that's in deck. We're Gucci. We can rescue Stretcher Zapdos and just go get him, right? Yeah, 140. I think I'm doing 140. Math is hard. It's early. Let's uh, get the Pokemon from the discard pile into the hand. Yeah, we're going to want Zapdos. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there he is. Look at him. Oh, gorgeous. You're doing great, Zapdos. And we're going to go ahead and accelerate to our cows. Yeah, boom, boom, got him. And then we got, you know, got you all suited up there too, fella. And uh, sure, yeah, there we go, e-power, e-power. And that's uh, that's that. We're going to take this knockout here and hope that, I don't know, hope I don't lose the game. It seems pretty good. What about rock climbing in the wild? Good question. I've actually never done that yet, Alex. I did... Uh, Let's see, I had a friend of mine get me into rock climbing a few years ago and started off in a bouldering gym and like kind of got started there and then I found a new bouldering gym because I moved from Baltimore to Ohio and then I found a new bouldering gym here. I haven't actually gotten up the courage to do it uh, in the wild yet. Uh, it is a lot, <laughs> a lot uh, lower risk in the gym for sure and I feel like I'm still learning uh, bouldering. Like I've only been doing it for about a year maybe uh, total because of the time that I hurt myself. So maybe a year, maybe a little bit, maybe closer to a year and a half. So definitely still learning, but not something that I'm opposed to. Uh, rock climbing in the, uh, actually out on the rocks. Would I consider it once I'm ready? Especially once I'm like done getting this knee injury out the way. Yeah, I would consider it, but I would have to go with people that I felt like were really experienced or like knew what they were doing. Just don't have a lot of friends who are super into bouldering. I kind of do it pretty casually right now. But if I like, you know, knew some people who were who were confident. Oh wow, yeah, and he's gone ahead and removed all his bench Pokemon. So I think he can't win if I just knock him out because he has two prizes remaining. So all I have to do is all I have to do is knock it out, right? Which is not exactly easy. This is uh, this could be bad. All right, Stellar Wish. Got a Lily. Counter gain's not gonna help. 
We need a DCE. Okay. Um, I think we got to go for the Lily play. Have I considered Ninja Warrior? That's going to be a no. Yeah, Ninja Warrior, very difficult. Very, very difficult show. All right. We got to go here. Fail it. Got to go here. Got to go here. I can't attach. I have to Lily. No DCE, guys. No DCE. Sketch. All right. Hmm. This is problematic, folks. We're almost there, but not quite. So I think. Oh, I could moo moo milk, right? <laughs> that would be hilarious. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Busted. That might uh, might actually save me. How many guillotines you got in the discard pile? Four. Oh yeah, you can't do it. All right, that's pretty sick. So, uh, and then what? Discard any number of Pokemon. Thirty more damage. Okay. So let's see what we could do. I think I kind of have to leave this Zapdos in the active, or this Jirachi in the active. I'll leave another Jirachi in the active. That's what we're going to do. We're going to retreat. Okay. No, because then he can win. He can win with the spell tag, because he's going to do that again. He's behind on prizes. He could discard. He could actually knock out anybody he wants to. All right, we're going to have to do this. And then... I think I just lose, guys. I think I lose. I don't think I can do it. All right, we're going to retreat. I don't think I can do it. Got another Moo Moo Milk. Okay. So, and another Lily. If we play the other Moo Moo Milk, okay. So, he would be at a point where he knocks out something in the active. I would have to keep him from knocking me out. I can't use too many milks, that's for sure. All right. So, we got Bill's Analysis. We got Lily. I think I kind of have to grab the lily for next turn. Sure. I don't think I could do it though. I probably had to hit into him, I think, in order to win this game. I probably had to hit into him with, uh, I don't know, it just feels bad. I probably had to hit into him with the Zapdos here. So rough. Because he's going to pop all these Giratinas back. He's going to snipe this like four times, and then he's going to knock me out. And he's going to discard all his bench Pokemon, so I have to hit into the spell tag. And then I think it it's probably going to go to sudden death, right? I think it's just going to go to sudden death. That's, the, that's what it's got to be, guys. This game's going to sudden death. Because if I knock him out next turn, he will just knock out my bench guy. So the Moo Moo Milk does save me here. It, it did save my, uh, my single Jirachi. But I just need to draw into an energy. We'll knock out the Cofagrigus. He can only do 60 to the Jirachi. That's it. And then he can knock out the active. I knock out the Cofagrigus. He uses spell tag. On to sudden death. On to sudden death. I think, uh, Dankus, why did I need to move Moo Milk again? He's not going down this turn, so we're fine. It's just I don't think that there was any way to avoid sudden death. I think that's uh, that's it, right? So the milk did save me. Um, that being said, if I do flip two heads, if I draw into another milk, I win if I draw into another milk and flip two heads. All right. We've got the DCE, so that's like amazing. Okay, let's see here. We can get a Zapdos out the deck just to thin the deck. We could do this. We could do this. All right, and then we Lily for four. All right, we did not get another one yet, but I might get one here. We did not, okay. So now we just go to sudden death. Unfortunate, unfortunate.
All right. Yeah, yeah. So we just knock him out, but that is that. He's gonna be able. To, he's gonna be able to do the thing here. So we milk cannon. I needed to draw into my final Moo Moo milk, and I needed to flip double heads. But he's gonna place that damage on the Jirachi and take his final prize. So we're going to sudden death, guys. PTCGO sudden death. I feel like every single time I play against a spell tag deck. Like, there's a 50% chance I go to sudden death against a spell tag deck. Like, it's honest. Oh, I just won. Was it not sudden death? Did I just win? I, I promise that that happened at a tournament one time, and they just uh, they sent me to sudden death. So, that was odd. Do they not have sudden death in PTCGO? So, that was insane. We got it. Insano, thank you so much, Zach, for the request there. We got there. Busted deck. All right, let's take a look at Expanded. I'm going to hop on over to, I don't know, Picarom. Let's see what we got over here. We got uh, Expanded Picarom deck, maybe. Did I delete it? Tell me I didn't delete it. All right. We're going to go over to Limitless TCG and see if we can't fin, uh, can't finagle a Picarom deck, expanded format. Let's see, go tournaments here, and then we're going to, yeah, we're just going to steal a deck. Let's see, Toronto, Chile, Perth, El Salvador, Denver. No, we want probably Collinsville. No, not Toronto. Greensboro. Ah, uh, yes, Greensboro. There were some Picaroms up there. Let's take a look at, uh, uh, let's take a look at Lance's list. All right, Lance, what you got going on? Two Jolteon, two Eevee. Oh, that's a lot. A lot going on in that list. All right. Two Shaman, Tapu Lele, Trainer's Mail, Max Elixirs, Verse Seekers, Energy Switches. Um, okay. Let's see what we got. Sure. So we're going to bring that over here, create a new deck, import it. And let's take a look at this old list here. You guys really think a 2-1 Jolteon line in the deck? You think so? 2-1 Jolteon line. 1-0 uh, Aura. Really? You guys are into that? I'm not as, let's see, convinced here. The three verse seekers, the one silent lab, the Cassius. Ugh, Cassius, really? I don't know about that Cassius there. Though I do like the idea of healing a Pokemon, I guess. But let's, uh, let's take a look at this list a little bit. You guys think about the Cassius. You think the Cassius can go? I feel like, uh, I feel like the Cassius can probably, yeah, like, butt out of here. Um, yeah, we're going to, like, do that. We're definitely going to do that. And then um, probably also going to, yeah, I feel it, Natalie. Yeah, definitely, I feels it, all right? The energy switches, I'm like, I don't know, maybe. Why don't you just put the Max Elixir energy onto the Pokemon you wanted? You know, who needs Verse Seeker? You all know how I feel about Verse Seeker in this format. Probably don't need it. All right. So, yeah, we got those. You know, we probably could use another N or so. Another couple Guzma. I don't know. N. Let's see here. Yeah, probably another couple copies of N. And then we're going to need, like, a few more copies of Guzma, too. Let's see. Just, like, real supporter heavy. I think that... That's how I like prefer to play these decks anyway. And let's see. Guzma. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. We need like three Guzma. It's pretty good. And then let's take a look. The Jolteon. Do we really need the Jolteon? Nope. Nah. What do we need Jolteon for? Cool. All right. Now we got a bunch more space. So, yeah, we'll play three Guzma, two Colrus. Yeah, probably could go three Colrus. Drop a mine from Marshadow, 100%. Yep, with it. Yup, Marshadow, let loose. Hope you're talking about let loose anyway. I know I'm talking about let loose. And then, uh, yeah, probably something like that for now. That seems pretty radical. Two energy switches, comp search. I do like comp search. I'm into that. So I do like his call there with the old computer search. And then I probably will increase to another flash energy 
or like something crazy. I don't know. We could just play something, something crazy, right? I don't know. We could just like ditch these energy switches and go for like order pads. Oh yeah. Now we're, now we're talking, right? Now we got Pika pads expando. Let's go. Let's go chat. All right. Yeah. Pika pads expando. There we go. Busted deck. All right. Let's give it a try. I don't know. You know, ever give it a try. You never know. Let's go. Boom. So we'll uh, give that a shot. This deck does concern me. I am concerned about like, uh, uh, I don't know, concerned about like Hitmonchan, stuff like that. So where did I put my deck? We're going to look expanded format. Over there. And hmm, peak pads expando. Let's get it. Skirt. So. I don't know. I feel like uh, I really do like the, I do really like the kind of straightforward Picarom deck. Uh, I, I think that, you know, you can play a bunch of toolbox attackers. I think I like just straight up, like you're going in with either Zero Aura or like uh, Zero Aura or Picarom. Like those are your guys, right? Going in with one of them. I think that's like my favorite way to play the deck. So let's see what we got going on. Started Picarom, it's pretty good. I guess I could have, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I could have started Lele just so I could max, that's probably ideal there, but yeah, whatever. I don't know, we're here now, so it's cool. Playing against a Rotom deck, fellas. So we'll uh, see how that goes. Uh, I think my biggest concern about the Hitmonchan deck with the Jolteon EX is that people would just play, I, I'm worried that people will just play uh, Escape Rope, right? You play Escape Rope and then you Escape Rope Guzma, I think. But obviously you can get around that if you just uh, have like only Jolteon EX, right? If you just go only Jolteon EX, then you can play around the Escape Rope Guzma thing. But I imagine that they would try to like stack their hand with like Escape Rope Guzma to play around the Jolteon uh, EX. It's kind of like... Uh, my thing. But we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching this morning. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support as always. Awesome stuff. I'm really excited about Unbroken Bonds. Like really, really stoked on Unbroken Bonds. I think we got a ton of new cards. I mean, this set looks absolutely ridiculous, right? I think the set is just absolutely insane. There are so many good playable cards in the set I think that I mean it's honestly just worth it to open booster boxes because there's like the triple boost I mean I had a whole list of things I even think the Doug Trio is good right I think that there are just so many good cards in the set are right, we gonna go here we're gonna max elixir yo all right and then sycamore this thing I guess energy switches the more I like think about it the energy switches are kind of good I could see it for sure I think with the order pads in here, I do want like a nest ball though. I think the nest ball would be pretty sick. Okay, so like the Silent Lab should be pretty good. My opponent has a zero card hand. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. And we're about to have nine in the discard pile. So let's see what we got here. We're gonna pare this hand down and probably just go for like a, a shaman thing, to be honest. Yeah. An Ultra Ball. Let's get ourselves Shaman EX. It's pretty good. My Tapu Koko Prism Star is in the deck also. So let's see here. Yeah, I'm just going to grab one of those. And then, I don't know, let's Trainer's Mail. Boom. Let's see what we get. Okay. We got Order Pad, Electro Power. I don't need the Electro Power uh, when you mail for an Order Pad. It's pretty busted. Let's see if we get heads on this fella. We do. Busted card. So we're going to be looking for an Ultra Ball, and then I think I'm going to Ultra Ball away the Trainer's Mail and the other Zero Aura, and just get myself the Tapu Koko Prism Star into play, and then I just need to hit like a Max Elixir, and we're just like, skirt, turn one attack. So let's see what we got here. Uh, a little bit short now. Let's see what we get off this Trainer's Mail here. Another Order Pad. All right, busted card. Right? Busted card. Let's see. Got a Max Elixir. Hey, buddy. 
Hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right. All right, chat. We're cruising. We're rocking. We're rolling out here. Okay, let's see. Transmail again. Thunder. Now we're like even more in there. Okay, I could see the energy switch is being kind of good now. Let's see. I go for it. Yeah, we're going to go for the turn one full blitz. All right. Max Elixir. Hit it. Come on. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Busted deck. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. And we've got a turn one full blitz. Ladies and gentlemen, with... Oh, I guess I can't Silent Lab and Thunder Mountain, but that's cool. I'm just going to go ahead and just retreat. And we're going to Thunder Mountain at first, and then I'm going to Silent Lab, shut it down. All right. Just going to full blitz. Get him out of here. And then uh, we'll accelerate probably all on to the active, to be honest. Yeah, we're just going all in. He ain't going to knock me out this next turn. He ain't got it like that. He can do 120, but he certainly ain't going to be, you know, knocking me out, I don't think. Not with a zero card hand. Uh, unless that top deck is, like, insane. We're just going to go for win with Tag Bolt GX. That's right. We got there, folks. Peek around. Expand format. There you go. That's, uh... That's all. That's all, folks. Tag Bolt GX. GG's. No re. Expanded peek around for you. Order pad. Busted card. Getting in there. Doing exactly what it needed to do. So, there we go. Busted deck, right? I don't know. I would probably just play peek around in expanded format. The deck is absolutely filthy disgusting. I don't know. But then, obviously, it does have some glaring weaknesses. It doesn't do that every single game. But, you know, it's going to do it pretty... Uh, Pretty often. It's just going to tee off. All right. Getting in there on that first turn. There were a couple cards I think I wanted. So let's uh, let's take a look at that list again. Felt like everything in here was pretty good. It's like kind of what I want here. Trainers mails were excellent. The order pads were excellent. Everything was pretty hot fire, yeah. I don't know. I think I want like a nest ball in here. Like one nest ball. And... Yeah, I don't want these reverse cards in here anymore. Yeah. Ultra balls are cool. Thanks, stay. Want like one nest ball, but you know, just might not. I actually want all junipers as well. Gosh, please. Yeah, juniper. Ridiculous. Not playing juniper. There we go. We need our number one lady in there. Energy switch is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Energy switch is probably fine. Just like. I would have to take the order pads out. You guys saw those were insane. The order pads were nuts. Order pads were nuts. I think probably an energy switch would be good, though, or a healing card or something, but eh, it's all good. You want the full art? Yeah, we got to play our full art juniper in there. You right. You right. I don't know. We'll rock it again. All right, we're going to go one more time. We're going to see. I do need to. This is insane, though. I mean, this is, this is preposterous. We need, you know, come on. We need the correct deck box here. There we go. Now we're cruising. Go to one Colrus. How many did I have now? Two or three? If it's three, I'll... Ah, two? I don't know. I don't know. Two? I mean, Colrus is the best supporter in the deck. You're going to get these insane turns. You just draw out your whole... I can see going to two in. But, yeah, something like that. And then we could uh, put in, like, one Nest Ball or one Energy Switch, one of the two. Probably, like, Nest Ball. You want, like, Nest Ball is just a good card. A lot of times, if you get a turn one order pad, you're just, like, going to get, um, yeah. So, um... The, I'm not going to lie, one of Verse Seeker is kind of a cool play with order pads. That's the thing about the order pads. You could just kind of like, you could kind of just get anything, right? Like you could just order pad for a Verse Seeker and then get any supporter that you want. So there are a bunch of decks in expanded format that don't play Versus Seekers. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, kind of harkens back to the old heyday of the Pokemon trading card game where Verse Seeker was only played as like a one or two of in some decks, right? And I think uh, that point was kind of proven last year at Dallas. And I don't mean to, like, you know, talk myself up or anything. But I got, like, uh, I bubbled top eight with Buzzrock, right, that played no 
no verse seekers and buzz rock. And that was like, you know, that was like pretty, pretty like radical for the time. But then like it kind of came generally accepted that busted deck. It came kind of generally accepted that the deck was better off um, without versus seekers. And then I think that there are a lot of decks in expanded format that agree with that sentiment. And I think that uh, I think that this deck is one of them, okay? And I think that Picaram just feels like buzz rock, right? And that you just want to draw a card. You don't ever want to start like a Versus Seeker hand. You just want to go in every single time. Let's see what we got here. I was feeling like I maybe should have gone for the turn one Shaman there just to draw cards, but it's cool. Fine with this. Max Elixir. Got it. So it's pretty rad. And then we got Silent Lab. We don't necessarily need that yet. Let's just uh, let's just pass and see what we get. So, yeah, it's a matter of it's a matter of taste, though. I just don't think that you uh, uh, you know you can't discount the supporter or the verse seekerless engine. It is really good. And then especially when you consider that um, item lock is a thing, right? Because these decks are always going to draw better under item lock. So you just have like a better time against Toad and things like that. So I don't think that I just win if I don't bench anything because they could probably, they'll just heal indefinitely. So, ooh, I did realize we don't actually have a Tapu Koko GX in this list. It's interesting. What do you guys feel about Tapu Koko GX and expanded Picaram? Is it worth it? Do you need it? Need to know. To be fair, I don't think that I can actually deal with this thing. I think he's just going to destroy me, guys. I don't think... Oh, he's scared of the Jolt... Man, you scared of the Jolteon, bro. You... I don't know. Seems like a misplay. Let's see. Um... Sure. We'll max Elixir. See we hit. All right. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then I think... Do I Guzma now? Take out the Shaman, full blitz to my active? No. I probably just hit into him with full blitz. I mean, just put the pressure on. So, it's probably what we got going on. I don't necessarily want to play any stadiums yet. So, we're just going to apply pressure here. And let's see, we've got Order Pad, Max Elixir. Okay. We can see if we get like a net ball or something like that. Uh, or a nest ball to be able to go get my Tapu Koko Prism Star. I don't think really much of it matters. Um, though I am going to want a Zera Aura here soon. Let's just retreat. And then I think we could full blitz to the active and just prepare for a big tag bolt. Worst comes to worst, he goes in next turn. I think this is probably where I'm at. Yeah, I think I just full blitz to the active, yeah. All right, I think, no? If I full blitz to the bench, full blitzing to the bench is kind of cool. Yeah, I actually kind of like that because then he's gonna like, parallel, or he's gonna like confuse me and then I'll go to Jolteon. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. All right, we'll go to the bench. It's fine. All right, Jolteon will put in some work. We're actually gonna let we're gonna let Jolteon do its thing. I think going back and forth between Jolteon and Picaram probably is gonna be good here. Seems good, and he's got a lot of pressure on him to heal himself. So that's uh that's pretty good. So yeah, I don't know. You guys like Tapu Koko? Do we need Tapu Koko GX right in this? Uh, in this list, let me know. Because it's, uh, it's an interesting inclusion, I don't know. You don't like necessarily need it, I guess. You can just go straight forward and and just kind of rock with uh, the Picaram lifestyle. Just go Picaram, Jolteon. But, yeah. Um, Mama Cow, uh, the mirror match, it depends. If, you know, what wins you the mirror match, right? What wins you the mirror match? Does getting 
the most efficient turn one attack win you the mirror match? Right? Does getting the most efficient turn two attack win you the mirror match? I would argue that those things might win you the mirror match, right? And if starting out with a draw supporter every single time in the mirror match wins you the mirror match more often, then I think that if you're taking out verse seekers and adding in draw supporters, then you're going to have a more consistent deck, which are that's that's the argument, right? And it could obviously go both ways, you know. But the argument is that uh, supporter heavy engine, like if you say I'll win most of my games with Pika Ram if I just start with the turn one supporter, right? Then this is like then that's the best route for you. So let's see here. He's got like 210 hit points remaining. That's a lot. So, we'll see what we can do. Um, we could flash ray the shaman. I don't necessarily mind that. Probably is fine. And then we counter the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to go Guzma, the shaman. And end up using Flash Ray here to knock it out. And then I could potentially accelerate. I could Ultra Ball away, Order Pad, and some stuff. Let's see, I could snipe 170 to the bench. It's a lot. Not enough to knock it out, but we're close. So let's see here. Probably go. I'm just considering between Ultra Pad, Ultra Ball. Yeah, let's let's actually just go for the Order Pad. Bummer. All right, we're going to transmit. Electro Power. It's a good card to have in hand as well just for next turn when I'm trying to tank that Venusaur and get it out of the picture. So going to Max Elixir. Sweet. Grab that there. And then play the Silent Lab and just Flash Ray. And I'm okay if... You know, there's a lightning there. I'm okay if my opponent like burns, confuses this or whatever. And then we could just go in next turn and go for a tag bolt knockout on this thing. And then if he puts down another Shaman or, you know, Venusaur or something like that, this is good for me. The Jolteon is putting in a lot of work here. Ooh, actually did not see that coming. Not gonna lie. Yeah, didn't see that coming. Totally fine with it though. Laser. Uh, yep. Didn't see that coming either. This has been world of surprises for me. Jolteon is poison now, but I'm actually fine with it. I'll just take my time, attach, and uh, I'm not going to blow this electro power yet. I'm just gonna attach here. And then I guess I could go for game. All I have to do is hit 270. So we'll, uh, oh no. Oh no, chat. I was like, yeah. I'm gonna Ultra Ball for Shaman. And then I have realized at this juncture right here that I can't do that. So, huh. Now I'm stuck playing this Ultra Ball that I wish I wasn't playing, because I was <laughs> Silent Lab is here. It's cool, we're in a real bummer spot now. It's fine though. I think, uh, I think my opponent doesn't have anything. So, suspect that we could just do this. I really don't want to. That was, that was really bad. Sorry, chat. That was bad. That was my bad. Okay. So we'll just, uh, we'll just get this. All right. And then we're just going to flash ray. Yeah, chat. Sorry. Thought I had a potential to go for game there with Shaman EX, but then realized it as soon as I pressed it. As soon as I pressed it. It's all good. It happens. We're good. So... I could have, uh, had I not, I could have potentially tag bolted to win. That is uh, an option for sure. Had I just not played the Ultra Ball, I would have just played the Electro Power and gone for it with the Juniper. So, should have potentially done that. I think he's dead drawing though. He, As you can see, he is dead drawing, so we're still going to be fine here. Because he doesn't have anything else in his hand. He's got like a Ranguru. Silent Lab's out, so he just scooped it up. He thought he was going to draw some cards with that Oranguru, and then he realized that the Silent Lab was in force. So, we're Gucci. All right. We'll play one more game with Expanded Pika Pads, and then uh, 
And then we're going to move back on to some standard. If you guys want to see some standard, let me know what your standard deck requests are in the chat, guys. Let me know. What do you guys want to see standard format? What's up? Um, we got ourselves a Picaram and nothing else. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. What a way to go down, Picaram. What a way to go down. We're going second. Looks like we're playing against maybe Zoro Rock or something. Yeah, it's going to be a yikes for me, dog. Not what we want for sure. We need to tee off. You want to see a standard deck that runs a lot of Kiawe, Mama Cow. As soon as we get that Reshiram and Charizard GX, that is going to be running Kiawe. And that'll be pretty sick, right? So definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, what an unplayable hand. Unfortunate. Not good. You would think, I mean, we have a ton of consistency cards in this list. You think about it. We got the Ultra Balls. We got the Order Pads. We got the Trainer's Mails. There are so many consistency cards in this list. We got the Sycamores, the Ends, Colrus, or Junipers, I should say. Just not getting them in this hand. That's okay. Come on, Ryan Reynolds. Come on. You could do it. I believe in you. Rotation is Ultra Prism on. Is it really just announced? That's a big deal. Okay. It's a pretty big deal. Good stuff. All right, I think we bring up the Lele because I ain't got nothing going on. So, world's format will uh, not be very good or consistent unless we get some awesome supporters. So, wait, rotation. So, you're talking about post world's rotation is Ultra Prism on, right? Or are they talking about something else? Let's hop on over to Poke Beach and see what they uh, have got on it. Yeah. 2020 standard format announced. Goes into effect before Worlds. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. That's insane. All right, chat. We're going to have to talk about that. What in the world? All right, chat. So this is a big deal. It's a very big deal. All right, I'm going to have to take this turn, and then we're going to talk about it. This is insane. Insano. Yeah. All right, let's see what we get here. Of course. All right, so we can uh, we can make some magic happen here. I need to go and Ultra Ball for something else. Yeah, I need to Ultra Ball these two Lightnings away. And we need to get, like, another Shaman. Or Let Loose, you know, sometimes Let Loose is all you got. All right. We could go for Ultra Ball for Zara Aura. Comp search away two max elixirs. That seems bad. Um, kind of my opponent has a dead hand though. We need to cut this lele. Go for another shaman. For real, we need three shaman in this list. This is a travesty that we're not playing three shaman. All right. Let loose. I guess seems so bad. Um. Sure. Um, and then I think, oh, we could actually do, check this out. Busted. This is why we play Comp Search, folks. Insano plays. There we go. Y'all, let's get it. And then let's see if we can order pad here. Get ourselves something good. Can't. It's fine. Haven't supported yet. Let's go. And then we can do this. Let's see. I will order pad a couple more times. Sick. Let's. Uh, yeah, I actually don't think I need too much else. I'm just going to grab uh, Electro Power, to be honest so that I can do some things next turn. But yeah, we got some magic happening. Let's go. And then I could just, because uh, I don't know if he's going to, yeah, he can't get garb out or anything. So we're just cooling now here for sure. I don't know. I don't I don't want to risk it with the Tapu Koko Prism Star, though. So I'm just going to go ahead and dance with the, dance with the Enchants. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Seems good. And then 
yeah, we've got everything that we could possibly want. So let's go ahead and full blitz for knockout. And I'm going to accelerate onto my benched peak around, I think. It's going to hit into this one. Yeah. We're going here. So this should be a pretty good matchup for me now that I'm actually drawing cards. All right, but red alert. Okay, so here we are. Standard format announced goes into effect before Worlds. The format will go into effect on August 15th. World starts August 16th, so it will follow the new format. The 2020 season starts July 1st, 2019, so players can get an early start on working towards the 2020 Pokemon World Championships. However, the rotation will not occur until August 15th. Importantly, this means that the World Championships will take place with the new format. Standard format for the 2020 season will consist of the following expansions. Ultra Prism on, right? Insane. That is insane, chat. That is absolutely insane. So Worlds is Ultra Prism on. What does that mean? It means we're losing Tapu Lele GX. It means we're losing Lycanroc GX. Is Zorark rotated? Guys, I need... is Where does Shining Legends fall in that? Is Zorark rotated? Let me know, chat. Is Zorark rotated? I need to know. No, Zorark is gone, right? No Let Loose either. It's all gone. This is insane. Absolutely insane. This is busted. You guys, you guys see this, right? Like decks busted. Alright. Nothing. Oh, it stings. Okay. Let's see. Do I just go in on the active and then Juniper? Or do I Guzma? I could Guzma up. I think, yeah, I think we just Guzma. That just seems good. Yeah, because I can Lele for Guzma. Guzma up the Lele on his bench and then hit for two more prizes. No, not the Lele. Yeah, yeah, something like the Lele, yeah. Let's go here. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Get Guzma. All right, so I think here I'm going to Guzma up probably the Shaman because he could Sky Return that technically. So I think we Guzma up the Shaman. And then I have Free Retreat, and then I can Electro Power. No, I don't even need to Electro Power. So, like, we're good. We're just setting up for game with a Tag Bolt. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take two prizes here. I only have three remaining. Yeah. So let's just retreat here. Full Blitz for Knockout. All right. And we get to save our C4, 5. Now let's put one there. All right. And we get to save our Electro Power in hand, too, which is just insanely good because I could just go and this Lele is a goner. Unless he somehow gets rid of this Lele, I'll just tag bolt that for game. He's got no way on board to knock that out right now. I've used, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've used 10 items. It's 200 damage. I have not even been careful about it, and I'm still not there. So this is nuts, guys. This is like big deal news, guys. Why is my, why is my deck box over top of my cards. Can anybody tell me about this? Why is my deck box over top of it? All right. GG Zorark player. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Just, uh, that's just it. That's it, man. You ain't got it like that. We got it like that. But you ain't got it like that. Yeah. That's it. Tag bolt. Boom. Taking seven prizes. Tag bolt GX. Insano. Pika pads. Expanded format. You saw it here first, guys. You saw it here. Right. Huh. Pika pads and expanded busted deck. All right, busted deck. There it is. Expanded Pika pads, 3-0, invincible deck. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. Still fun though. I don't know. You can play order pad in expanded format with Archies. Why not? Why not also Pika Rum? I think I probably want like one energy switch in the deck. Something like that. I also kind of want a third Shaman. But the comp search is amazing. That was so good. 
The comp search is so insane. Getting to go for the Thunder Mountain is like perfect. So that's uh, it's pretty busted. Definitely dig that. All right, let's hop back to standard format and see what we got going on. What do you guys want to see in standard format? Let me know for sure. Oh, Mama, Mama Crow, sometimes, uh, <laughs> sometimes I flex. I just wasn't feeling the flex that I wasn't feeling like flexing. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when I when I feel like flexing, I'll flex. So absolutely insane about this world's rotation, guys. Absolutely nuts. We are losing so many cards. Oh, I feel like I need to make a video on that. That's insane. So if someone, I don't know, that would be nuts. If someone could. Uh, I don't know, Natalie or someone in the chat, if someone can compile a list, you guys would be incredible. So, so good. If someone could compile a list of the cards we're gonna be losing, okay, like relevant meta cards we're gonna be losing, I'll offer you, uh, I'll offer you a shout out, the first person who compiles me like a, like a nice list. Now, if you don't want to do it, it's fine, you know. But if you want to help me out with the video, that would be amazing because I don't have a ton of time today. But if you could help me compile a list of relevant standard cards, this goes for mods, this goes for viewers, whoever. And if you could DM me it on Twitter at EnjoyFriend, okay? E N J O I Friend at EnjoyFriend. If you could uh, message me on Twitter a list of cards that we're going to be losing in standard format, I'd love to make a video. So that would be sweet. And I'll shout you out in the video on YouTube if you help me out with that. So that would be sick if uh, if that's your thing. But anyways, if you guys could uh, help me out, DM me on Twitter. That'd be sick so that uh, we can crank out a video on this new rotation. Natalie already going to do it. All right, Natalie. Thank you. Busted Natalie. Blessed girlfriend. Natalie, is there any chance we can get the, uh, the proxies as well? DCE is gone. Stop. There's no way. No way DCE is gone. That is insane. DCE gonna be kicking the bucket. All right, we saw, I saw a request for Zoro Control. I think I deleted Zoro Control, so I gotta bring it back here off of uh, Limitless. We gotta go find our Zoro Control deck. We're losing all our... <laughs> We're losing all our balls. Oh my gosh, the ball search. We're not losing Ultra Ball. We lose an Ultra Ball? We're not losing Ultra Ball, right? Surely there's an Ultra Ball, right? Is there no Ultra Ball? That would be insane. Oh my gosh. It would be insane though. All right. You guys must really like watching me struggle. All right, we're getting some requests for Zoro Control. Sure. All right, I'm going to warn you ahead of time. I do not. I deleted this deck. We trash canned this deck last time, all right? We trash canned it. You guys remember? We gave it the trash can. Remember? It was awesome. All right. I don't have a Champions Festival chat, so we're going. We're going. Zoro Control attempt number two. Uh, Zoro. Let's see. Zoro. Zoro Control uh, number two. There we go. It's number two because I deleted the first one. We, uh, we had to let him go. We broke up with the first one. Sure, you know, I know better, chat. I know better than to build this deck again, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try because I said viewer requests. All right, you got a request. I'll answer it. Here we go. I'll queue up. Zoro Control. Pour one out for Zoro Control, chat. Zoro Control. It's going to be a goner. That's right. I can't tell you how excited I am about that. Zorark is gone, chat. It's gone. Good riddance, Zorark. Not at my world's. Not at Worlds 2019. No way. Zorark is out of there. We're going to be playing just, it's going to be a ton of tag team Pokemon GX, dude. This World Championships is just going to be like tag team city. For sure, for sure. I don't think, I think two Lavender is like totally fine in this deck. <sighs> We're on a pretty heater win streak. You guys ready to just like uh, throw that out the window with some Zorark? Let's get it. We're going first. It's fantastic. Let's see here, I gotta have the. Uh, let's see. Let's have the list pulled up so I can actually look at the list as I play. 
That's, uh, that's how confident I am with this deck. All right, this is a pretty good starting hand, actually. I don't mind it. Mysterious Treasure, Nest Ball. We can actually go get ourselves a Lele and Lele for Lily. Get a big turn one draw. I'm also going to be going first, so that's uh, fantastic. All right, here we go. Nest Ball. We'll, uh, looks like we're playing. I don't, I don't know what I'm playing against, to be honest. Probably best off starting with a Ditto, though. Can't go wrong there. And then we got Lele as an option to go get ourselves a supporter, so we'll do that. Going to discard just one of the bodybuilding dumbbells, probably fine, just in case I run into, I don't know, in case it's like Zapdos or something. I, I don't know what it is. I actually just forget. But it's cool. We'll do that. And then, uh, sure, I'm going to go for the turn one Lily here. And I guess I'll just, uh, I'll put the bodybuilding dumbbells probably, probably on the bench one, just I don't know, in case I get turn one attacked. I have no idea what I'm playing against yet. No idea. So, it's fine. We'll go here, and yeah, it's looking like we got a Poke come. I don't think I really need to do it, though. I like having the Zorak in my hand. Don't need to Ultra Ball either. So, I mean, we could go for Broke, get another Zerua into play, I guess. Kind of feels bad. I can Ultra Ball away the Judge and the Lily. Probably a turn two Judge is pretty good, though. Now nah, we're just gonna chill with this, and we'll go from there. Figure it out next turn. Yeah, we are going to get that muck out. That muck is happening. We got Grimer and we've got Ditto. So, very strong here. I'm feeling the Zorark powers. Pour one out for Zorark, chat. Zorark is a goner. Can't believe it. It's going to be gone so soon. Insane. But uh, good riddance, to be honest. Press 1 in the chat. All right. Let's see. This is World Championship format. Okay. But press one in the chat if you're excited about this. Press two if you're nervous about this or you're not sure. All right, press one in the chat if you're excited about this rotation. Press two if you think that, uh, if you're not sure about it. I'm excited. Boom. I think it's, I think it's dope. I'm excited to see some new things in uh, standard format for sure. I'm excited to see new decks, new combos, win worlds. I don't want to see more Zora control decks. I'm excited, you know, to get to see new things right excited to get to see new things got a little bit of mixed feelings here some people are a little bit nervous but it's all the way in august so we'll have plenty of time to try out the new format for sure it's gonna be crazy should be fun and if nothing else we get to these are gonna be the weakest world deck. probably some of the weakest world deck we'll ever see though because i don't think we've ever seen such a small pool of playable cards in uh, in Worlds format. So it's interesting. All right. We've got two Zoroarks here. Um, and then I can guarantee myself a muck with that Ultra Ball. So that's good. We're going to start trading. Let's trade away the Lily because we're judging this turn probably. And then we're going to trade away. We play three bodybuilding dumbbells. It's insane. I'm going to trade away the other Lily here and see what we get. There's a DCE. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So he's weak to dark. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think I need to necessarily burn my switch yet. So we could just go there. Ultra Ball away. Pokecom. And like, do I really want to go down my second Ace Rolla? Probably not. So we'll evolve into Alola Muck on this fella. And then, yeah, we'll just go bodybuilding dumbbells and judge. Boom. There we go. Sick. Go get him, Slugger. And this should pretty much be a wrap. I think at this point, we're honestly just like, we're kind of golden enough to probably just shut down this entire deck. Like, I don't think that there's anything they're going to be able to do. Got turn two muck, turn two double zork, double bodybuilding dumbbells. Like, please. Please. That's it. Ain't got nothing, Jirachi. You just got Judge mucked. Turn two, going second. Yep, scoop her up. That's going to be that. Pretty sick. All right, Zoro Control. Continuing the win streak. We'll play one more, get a little bit of a game. My opponent didn't even get to play two turns there, so we just uh, just got in there. <laughs> Natalie. Natalie's coming to full grip. <laughs> Doesn't feel like uh, going to class. Oh, uh, that's okay. Natalie is almost graduated. All right, send your uh, 
Send your Misty Wow emotes to Natalie for almost being graduated. Actually, send your Thug Life emotes to Natalie for skipping class, okay? Send your Thug Life emotes to Natalie for skipping class today. Stay in school, kids. Be good. But Alaskan Hero, we did talk about rotation quite a bit. We did. Natalie is literally the Thug Duck right now. That's what Natalie is. Natalie is Thug Duck. She out here skipping class. Going to full grip instead. Thug life. There we go. So let's see. We got a ditto here. We're going first. Yeah, we'll probably just start the ditto. It's fine. And we'll see whatever my opponent is playing. Lily, Guzma, and Cynthia are staying. Is Guzma confirmed staying? Is Guzma confirmed staying? I thought Guzma was in like Burning Shadows. Or is it staying because it's an alternate? Oh, it is. It's alternate art. Guzma's gone. So we're going to be using, guess what, chat? We're going to be using custom catchers up in here. Custom catchers, bro. Custom catchers. That's right. That's right, chat. OK, so funky little hand here. I think going to Mysterious Treasure away, probably the Guzma, as weird as that is. Get myself a Lele. We want a Lele probably for some sort of draw card. Uh, I can also Mysterious Treasure away. I honestly don't think this deck is going to be one hit KOing me. So probably going to get rid of those two and just get myself a Grimer here to get started. Um, kind of weird, but sure. Here, 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 here. Keep that hand, bro. They ain't got nothing over there. That's right. That hand dead as a rock. Okay. There we go. And let's get that Lily train going. Woo woo! Busted. All right. Here we go. Lily for seven. Feels good, chat. Feels good. Busted hand. Honestly. Busted deck. Honestly. Let's go. So, yeah, it's pretty much all I need to do here. And then turn two, we just are going to. Smack him. We're just going to get it in there. He's got nothing going on. We know that hand dead. Unless he top decks a supporter here. We are good to go. And he's just going to scoop it up. We've got a win streak of seven, chat. All right. We've got a win streak of seven. We're going to keep rocking this Zoro control here till, uh, I don't know, till we lose one, probably. That or at least another game or two. Insane wins this morning. Seven. Custom is not Guzma. You're right. It's more like Lysander. And Swampert probably will be a pretty big draw engine in a lot of these decks. Swampert one hit KOs Charizard. Hmm. All right, chat. I see you guys. I feel like Switch is always in format. All right. The wind train looks like it has come to its final destination here. And uh, we'll be coming to a halt. <laughs> <laughs> with this game. So we've done our best chat, had a good run. It's been nice. But yeah, this hand is no bueno. Yeah, we're going to be uh, probably not doing too hot here. Opponent's got a Lily for five. That's fantastic. It's very good. But we, on the other hand, not doing much. OK, I do have a Zorark. OK, so you're saying like I could do something maybe next turn, sometime in the near future. So long as I get enough Zeruas out into play, we make sure that that is guaranteed. And then, you know, maybe we hit a crushing hammer on that lightning. Okay, busted. And uh, you know what? It's your go, fella. That's it. Okay, sure. I'm getting as many Zeruas out as possible. I know I got the muck in my hand. I could maybe evolve the ditto into muck, but like, I want to get as many I want to have as many options for Zorark as I can so that I can draw out of this bad hand. If I went and got a Grimer here, he's knocking out the Ditto turn one. Then I have only one Zorark turn two. I want to try and get two Zorarks if I can and then just get like an explosive draw. And then I'll set up the Muck later. That's kind of what I'm on. We'll see if we can do that. Sweet. Let's see. Oh, resource management, Swampert, power draw. Busted deck, right? 
Tapu Koko GX is leaving us just when it became meta relevant. I know. Don't we have promos of Tapu Koko though? Aren't there Tapu Koko promos or is it getting rotated for sure, for sure? Right. I think resource management is, uh, let's see here. All right, we need like a lot of these cards. I think I, I play more mucks than anything, to be honest, so it's fine. Okay. Yeah, sure. We can go here. Um, we're going to have to Lily. Here. Here. Insane deck. All right. Here. Rescue Stretcher. Shuffle. Lily for six. Let's get it. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Probably want to get a Grimer out here, so we're going to Pokecom away the Zerua um, for another Grimer. I know I could have technically, no, I don't think I could have gotten, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this. Yeah, we're like not knocking him out, but like I'm fine with that. All right, it's fine. He ain't got nothing going on here. We're just, you know, we're out here. Tapu Coco's Gonzo, no. So sad, so, so sad. Judge and Let Loose gonna go. So we have no hand disruption right now. The hand disruption is literally that, what, the Team Rocket card that's coming out, Jesse and James, where you like uh, discard two cards from the hand. I'm like, I'm like glad that Guzma's gone. Like, good riddance. Guzma pretty much just needs to get out of here. I'm cool with that for sure. Think that I would rather have Lysander back. Like reprint Lysander. Guzma was just bad for the format. Absolutely bad. It made like it makes this card way too powerful. It makes status conditions horrible. I think that uh oh yeah, judges reprinted. Okay. Okay. And oh and the stamp. That's right. The stamp is some uh disruption as well. That's pretty interesting. Alright, they ain't got it like that, so I do have a big scary uh, let's see, big scary peek around there to deal with. It's, uh, it's all good. We're fine. Fine out here. I think I'm going to end up lilying this turn. Yeah, that's fine. Got Lavender Town. All right, let me peep that ham. Peep that ham, bro. Let's see, what you got going on over there? Volkner. Uh, he ain't got too much. He get Electro Power. He could Tag Bolt, okay? He could theoretically blow his Tag Bolt to knock out my Zork, I guess. But if you do that, like, more power to you, fella. Okay. All right, we're going to start trading a little bit. Let's trade away. I want the Muck. Guaranteed. The Ultra Ball guarantees me to Muck, but I kind of am going to be greedy, and I think I just want to calm into the Muck. Um, that's, I know I'm going to be mad when I, like, top deck, when I get a Pokemon off these trades. It's fine. Trade away the enhanced hammer. Mysterious treasure is good. That'll get us the muck. All right, this is kind of best of both worlds here. We can go here. Mysterious treasure there. Get ourselves the muck. And we can ride his beating for knockout. So cruising along. Boom. Got it. Excellent stuff. Do we lose choice band? Whoa. That's actually, I think we do. Choice Band was in Guardians Rising, right? Pretty sure we lose Choice Band. Is Choice Band gone? Guardian Rising? Pretty sure Choice Band is goner. It's insane, right? Beast, is Beast Ring gone already? What set is Beast Ring in? Is Beast Ring gone already? Nah, really? Beast Ring's in Forbidden Light. Is Forbidden Light before Ultra Prism? No way. Is Forbidden Light gone? Yeah, no, Forbidden Light is after Ultra Prism. It's after, after Ultra Prism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, Malamar is like, just got here. We're not losing Malamar already. Yes, we do. We do keep Beast Ring. Yeah. So we're fine. Forbidden Light is all good. Forbidden Light, we still in here with that. All right, we've got Judge, we've got Guzma. See what we can do here. Uh, I do kind of want to hit an Acerola, Roly. See if we can find an Acerola. All right. 
Uh, don't have one yet, but it's not to say that we won't eventually. Let's see what your hand looks like. Thank you so much, Sean, for the bits. Appreciate it, Sean. Uh, Sean, if you could just get me a uh, a shot of espresso, all right? Just Sean, just one shot of espresso. And then DJ says to also get here on time. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. All right. Shout out to Sean for the bits. Sean and I are going to be working on the pre-orders for Unbroken Bonds. Those are going to be up today. So make sure to stay tuned for that. We've got the pre-orders coming up soon. Switch, very good. Orangaroo, good. Guzma, good. These are all good cards. I actually don't want to trade any of them away. So, huh. I think probably, I mean, because if I could, like, resource management this turn, that would be good. Huh. So I don't want to get rid of the Orangaroo. Their hand is, like, not that good. So I think I can get rid of Judge. It's fine. Palpad, another Zork. Palpad could throw, I guess, what, Lily's back into the deck? I don't need the Palpad right yet. Who am I getting? Uh, someone is trying to What are you talking about, Tulo? Oh, what's up? What's up, Natalie? Okay. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. All right, I'm going to tell DJ. DJ, yeah. can you let in Natalie? Yeah. Sweet, thanks. All right. Busted. All right, Natalie's going to get let in. All right, let's let's uh, let's try trade away the Guzma. All right, we're going to trade away Guzma. That's fine. All right, we got a DC, and we got the Ace Rolla. So this is big because I can just like crushing hammer, acerola. All right, I'm not exactly sure. We could acerola. I know he's probably got enough cards here to kind of do me in. So let's, uh, do I have one more trade? I do have one more trade. Okay. Can trade away probably the Orangaroo. All right, here we go. I don't think I'm going to use the Orangaroo right now. So we're just going to Acerola up this guy. And probably just swing in with another. How does he still, you guys see this, right? <laughs> Why does that Zorg still have 150 on it? What in the world? Y'all like, does the, y'all see this, right? Like what, anybody else seeing this? What is going on there? All right, I have let, I have let her in chat, all right. We are, we appear to be Gucci. All right, Natalie's on board. And then I think, uh, sure, do that. I don't know, I'll attempt the crushing hammer. Busted, we hit that off the active, and just ride a speed, go for that. So I think here that uh, we try to just tank hits. I know he has the Aether. Like, I know that. So that's a kind of, this might be my second Lavender Town. Yeah, okay. That's that's not great. I think I actually just cannot knock out the peak around now. Right? Because I like I'm out of stadium. So that's that was, was unfortunate. So we'll have to figure out how to play around that. I will have to go in with the Rangaroo here eventually. How many rescue stretcher do we play? How many? What's up, Natalie? How you doing? Okay. Hey. Sorry I didn't see you in the chat there. That's okay. I'm playing Zoro Control. It's a That's disaster. Alright. All right. So I probably have a second Orangaroo at my disposal, right? So I have one Orangaroo in the discard. Alright, there are two Orangaroo in here. So I will have an opportunity to potentially get another one, which is good. But I might be getting tag bolted here for knockout, which is bad. Where are your dumbbells? Oh, you uh, I have. I have what dumbbell equipped. Yeah. yeah. This is a, it's a tough one. Um, there should be a blower in the deck. Oh, there is a field blower in the deck. Thank you, Alex. All right. See, things I did not see. Not used to the fact that there is field blower in these decks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, he's going to hard retreat this fella. And I think he's tag bolting. Yup, here we go. That's going to be a tag bolt GX. All right, we knew that this was coming. 
we knew one of our guys was going to bite the dust. The hope is that no more, no more bite the dust. Okay, then. Let's see. We've got Mysterious Treasure, Switch, Azorak with 150 damage on it. Does that, will it go away when I evolve it? Please. Yeah, it's a glitch. I've seen it. Okay. Yeah, please go away. I was playing, uh, I was playing like Wacky Smacky, and I had my, my whale had like 200 damage on it. I used to roll it, and it kept the 200 in my hand. Oh, my gosh. I was like, okay. Like, <laughs> what is going on here? All right, you know, we know we are going to end up doing that. Nope. Still there. It shouldn't actually be there. What? That's no, like, I'm pretty sure it's not actually there. It's okay. just on the screen. I'm, like, nearly 100% sure. I've seen it happen before. <laughs> Because, like, I asked, because I, I was coaching, and I had asked, I'm like, does my whale lord have 200 damage on it? And they were like, no. Oh. So I'm pretty sure it's just a... That's uh, You should insane. be fine. All right, all right. So let's, uh, let's start trading. We could trade away. Uh, probably don't need, like, super need. Oh, I could Guzma, potentially, for, like, uh, something good there. I don't need that mysterious treasure. All right. Let's get that okay. out of here. Ooh! Field blower and Guzma. That's, game. That's a knockout there. I kind of want to soften this one up, though, I think. Um... And then I'll... It, no, you have, they have Aether. Oh, yeah, you get rid of Aether. Field Blower. So I think I want to aim to get my hands on some more... Um, they, yeah, they're saying if you attach the dumbbells, it'll go away. It should go away. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Skirt! It's gone. Now just like, okay, very good. All right, we're back to normal. So now, you guys see how much grinding this takes for me to play this deck? It's so grindy. All right, I think there's like nothing in this hand I want to get rid of. I like all these cards. Um, I think I technically get rid of the switch. How many switches does the deck play? One switch. It's my only switch. Seems pretty good. All right. I think we just go for knockout on the Picaram. Yeah, that's probably fine. All right. Because who knows? He might play like some sort of healing card. So we're going to do that. I'm going to Lele and just go my mucks out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I needed to bench him anyway. And then uh, I could put the Acerola back into the deck with the Power Pad, increase my odds of drawing into it next turn. Never get to field blower. I have to Field Blower for surely. Yeah, those gotta go. Yeah, yeah. All right. So then uh, switch, trade. I could trade away the switch. I don't need the switch. You don't, if you don't need to trade, you don't need to trade. I don't need the switch. I have uh, decided I don't think I need the switch. I just want to see more cards. There we go. So, and then can he trade? Oh, he could trade two. All right, busted, yeah. So I think now at this point I'm going to pal pad back in the Ace Rolla, the Guzma. It's cool. And then uh, I'm going to trade away the Nest Ball too. And there we go. Okay, so just kind of grinding through the decks as much as I can. Ride is beating, 120. I'm going to take three prizes. And I just need to knock out one more EX or GX for game here. Which is excellent. So we are on our way to being able to do that. Oh, Picaram, sketchy, sketchy matchup. Okay. It just does a lot of damage. It can do a lot of damage. So we're looking for Acerola this next turn. I only have 12 cards left in deck. I have three Zorarks that can all trade. I don't think that. Um, Alex, I never said Zoro Control was bad. I just. Uh, I just struggle with it sometimes. <laughs> I struggle with it. It's really grindy for me to play, so I feel like I can't, I have a hard time talking and playing this deck, which is one of the reasons why I don't play it as much. All right, it's gonna go in with full blitz. So we can, uh, I did delete it. Yeah, you know, that's part of the, that's part of the show, you know. All right, we got Ace Rolla busted. So we could trade here. I'm just gonna start trading away, yeah. Enjoy. Lots of people enjoy this play style. So does Riley. Riley loves this. This is like Riley's wheelhouse here. This is uh, Riley's like favorite thing to play. Not me, but I actually need to chill on these trades, bro, because like I don't want to like lose. So we're gonna ace a roller. All right. There we go. 180 damage Zorak there. In the. Uh, yeah, there we go. And crushing Hammer. See if we get that. All right, when you hit all the Crushing Hammers, like, I mean, that's pretty good, right? Riot is beating for 120, and then we should just win the game with Guzma here. Next turn. Oh. Oh, lordy. I forgot to put my dumbbells down. That's my mistake, guys. Forgot about the bells. 
All right, see? Yeah, not used to playing this deck. It's fine. We should still have wit. We should still have it. We have it. We have it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Didn't matter. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right. We forgot one thing. We forgot about the bells. All right. But we still won that game on a win streak of eight. All right. Zoro Control getting us, uh, getting us there. All right. We won. We won. It's cool. They didn't have it like that. We had Guzma for game anyway. So it's all good. What did you do? I forgot to put down my bodybuilding dumbbells. Uh, we won anyway. Oh. Didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. I, I had Guzma for game. So he was going to have to like heal his thing. And if he healed his thing, he wasn't going to be able to do anything. So. That is, uh, that is that. All right. What deck you guys want to see next? Played some games with Expanded. That's all. I was watching. Busted deck. Mm -hmm. Peek around. Yeah, broke it. Dude. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that again. That was fun. I actually was having a blast. Expanded format playing Peek around. Keep going, Alex. I know I know you are a big fan. Listen, I just played more Zoro Control in the last 30 minutes than I have in the last month and a half. All right. Quagnag. Brady wants to see Quagnag. We could probably throw in a game with... Quag nag before the uh, time is up. Hitmonchan Wob. All right. Press one in the chat if you want to see Hitmonchan Wob. All right. Three. Huh? Three. Natalie says three. It's just a just a Walmart Don fan deck, honestly. It's, it's a oh my gosh, it's an Natalie. Insult to Don fan, which gosh. is also which is very good. Natalie just called Hitmonchan Wob a Walmart Don fan deck. Yeah, it's just not nearly as good as Don fan was. Yikes. Back in the day, not I don't mean right now. Obviously, Don fan is just an inferior uh, Hitmonchan, but yeah. See, Natalie, uh, when do you have to head back to Kent? To work. Yeah. Three thirty. Three thirty. Bust. You got a few hours. What are you uh, What are you gonna do? Are you hang out today? Um, I might not stay here the whole time. I'm just ah, I just wanted to stop by and say I'll hi. See. Nice. If there's anything I can help out with, I'll help. But... Alex says you're correct. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Just Playing against prepared. Rodom again should be good for another win here. I think <laughs> with the Pika Rom deck probably. Let's. Uh, I'm putting Shaman down. Feels a little sketchy. I'm definitely not gonna need these electro powers. So let's uh, let's get it get it cracking here. I'll ultra ball, you know, comp search away these things. Seems fine. Yup. We're gonna just get ourselves probably a jolt. Actually, we could just win the game with Jolteon. Yeah, let's just do that. Sure. Seems pretty busted, right? So we'll uh, trainer's mail. See if we hit anything. Ultra ball, Silent Lab. I think uh, I I can probably shaman. Just get ultra ball. And then I can guarantee myself like a tap of cocoa or something like that. We'll go here. Set up for four. I actually like I don't mind putting down four prizes. I just can't put down six. It's cool. And then uh, we can comp, you know, ultra ball away the Colrus, the other lightning energy. It's fine. Get myself probably the tap of cocoa. And we'll see if we hit a max elixir here. Get this train going. Yeah. Sick. And we'll go here. And, hmm. Could Dance of the Ancients and put down a shrine at the Silent Lab. That would be kind of hilarious. So we got two lightning in the discard pile. Hmm. Silent Lab. Nah, it's a little greedy. All right, we'll just end. Be fine. We might want to use our abilities. You never know. But we got the Silent Lab back. Of course we did. And then, uh, let's see what we get here. Trainer's Mail first. We got Order Pad and Ultra Ball. We could let loose. That would be pretty good. Just let loose like the Guzma. And uh, yeah, that's probably fine. No, we don't want to put down another Pokemon. We ain't putting down another Pokemon. All right, we're just going to grab it. And then Max Elixir again. Let's see if we hit it. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We would have got the turn one Jolteon, folks. Give it the good old dance. Dance of the Ancients. There we go. Busted deck. And then I'm going to wait till next turn. It's right, expanded Pika Pads. What you think this is, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Expanded Pika Pads. Busted deck. Order Pad. Busted card. Absolutely insane. So let's see uh, what is, what is what's uh, the Claude Meister got for us over here. Claude 1996. Rotom's here. Rotomotor. They could discard a bunch of tool cards. Second time we played against this deck here today. We benched out the last one. It went pretty good for us, not going to lie. Sure enough, they do have Shrine. 
yikes, actually, that could be uh, could be problematic. Maybe I shouldn't go for the Jolteon the whole time. If they play enough Shrines, they can actually win this match. So, Also, none of these guys are weak to Lightning. But I guess 70 hit points is enough to knock them out. So maybe, maybe we'll transition into... Uh, maybe we'll transition into a Picaramet. Oh! What a savage. They have field blowered their own stadium to draw more cards. Savagery. All right. They got themselves a float stone and nothing. Okay. So we're looking pretty good here. I think that uh, we want to save our electro powers, honestly. And I'm going to save my stadium too until he plays shrine again. And I think I just uh, am going to end. Yeah. Weird. You know, I do give my opponent more cards. Sure enough, we got the Silent Lab right back. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So, I'm just going to... I don't know. Sure. I don't play Energy Switch thing, so there's, like, not really a good place to put the energy. We'll, uh, we'll just Flash Ray. And then I'm going to save the Electro Power in my hand so that I can Flash Ray other things. I just want to make sure that I don't... Uh, bench any other Pokemon. I've got four prizes in play. Like, they can knock out both these guys. Take four prizes. The point is, I want to keep them from being able to take six. And we'll just kind of turn through here. Especially if I save my stadiums to counter their shrines, then the Jolteon should not really ever take any damage. Sure enough, there is a shrine. The Silent Lab's awesome here because it stops their abilities from working, and they probably don't play any energy in this deck. If I had to guess. Got a Battle Compressor. So they're going to Wash Arrow. Do 50 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. That's fine. They can knock out those benched Pokemon. Not concerned about it. So you got 3, 4, 5, 6, and then probably 7, 8, 9. Just got discarded with the Battle Compressor. Let's see. 3, 4, 5, 6. Actually, just 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, sure enough. There they go. And they've got a full bench of... Little uh, little Rotom ghost fellas. Okay, the shrine gonna start putting in some work. So you're gonna have to chill on that, Senor. Yeah, I'm not really digging it. Okay, we'll put that there, and then just uh, probably Electro Power. Uh, the Order Pad in the deck still cool. I can just Colrus to be honest. Yeah, just draw like a bunch of new cards. Let's see what we get. Want some more Electro Powers? That's that's cool. We'll go with that. Not really any point in nest balling, putting down Picaroms, none of it. All right, just Flash Ray. And then hopefully they can, I don't know, miss an attack this next turn. That'd be great. Thunder Mountain is good, so I can counter the Shrine again, but it will get sketchy. I might actually have to pivot to a new strategy, yeah, because Jolteon can only last so many turns. Uh, actually, I should probably win the game, I think, before Jolteon runs out of turns to attack. But, you know, it'll take a little while. I'll get Guzma on both these guys. Fine with it. You know, the Heat Rotom here can uh, Heat Blast. That's that's cool. Good with it. Yeah. Where is the concede from the opponent? I've heard people concede a lot and expand it. They do. It's much easier to kind of obtain a, uh, a win board in expanded than it is in standard. All right. That is, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, they're going to go down some prizes there. It's fine. We can order pad, try to get myself, I guess. Hmm. Have I used my, ta I have used my Tapu Coco for some store. Hmm. Okay, interesting. We need a, uh, yeah. Nope, it's cool. We can just flash ray. I think we just stay the course, continue using flash ray here. Um, I actually do not want to bench anything else, so I'm just going to, yeah, we're going to fail that. And then, uh, sure, I could let loose. No real point in that, unless I want to go for another. I kind of like having the stadium in my hand, though, for when I need it. Um, let loose does give them an option for a fifth prize. Hmm. It also gives me the option to find a Guzma, which would be cool. Take a prize. Eventually, I'm going to have to deal with the Heat Rotom, though, so we'll just, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll just, we'll just hit into this thing. I think... The real issue here is that they could, if they play the, the eco arm, they could potentially get that life due back. Now, I'm not sure if they play eco arm. 
is kind of a concern that I have. But if they do, then uh, bringing the life due back is a major bummer. Major bummer. All right, looks like they are actually going to opt to just do 140, 150 with Shrine, right? Yeah, so they're knocking out my Lele. Cool with it. That actually guarantees me a prize here, which is nice. I do have some Guzmas left in the deck. Sure enough, there's one right there. So I could just flash right here. And then we have Guzma. I'm holding off on playing my Thunder Mountain because I kind of want to see if maybe I can, like, just like whoop up a turn, like a full blitz out of nowhere potentially or something like that if I need to. It's only got two prizes remaining. So actually, we might not ever do that. We just need to hope, like I'm kind of hoping that he discards a shrine. Like that's what I hope. I hope he discards a shrine with a, with something. I don't think he will, but that's, that's the hope is that he does. All right, so we're gonna be able to we could Guzma and knock out something else. It just feels bad. All right, we're just going to play the stadium down. Okay. Hmm. Do I just go in with a... Oh, yeah. He, he quit. He doesn't have another shrine. So he probably only plays three shrine on the list. And he scooped it up. All right, guys, we've got a win streak of nine. I'm going to go in one more time with Pika Pads just so that I could say we got a win streak of 10 because I trust in the Pika Pads, all right? We trust in, in Pika Pads. We trust. Now, I, uh, I think that next game I said that potentially we could play a Nag Quack. Brady, Brady requests Nag Quack, so we'll probably give that a, a shot. And then uh, we're going to work on getting the singles pre-orders up for Unbroken Bonds. So that's what we got on the agenda for today. Those are going to be live today on FullGripGames.com. We've got booster boxes live now on FullGripGames.com, pre-orders for Unbroken Bonds. We're going to have all the singles up. Sean and I were working on that all day yesterday, and we're going to finish what we started today, getting that rocking. All right. It's Rescue Stretcher gone. Craziness. See, we've got a mulligan hand here. I know. I could. I could definitely jinx myself, ruin the 10 win streak, but I'm gonna see what we can we can do. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident. I think we can. Honestly, you know, peek around filthy broken deck. So let's see. Alright, opponent, what have you got? I got not a nothing. All right, there we go. This is a busted hand for surely, and we're going first. Love it. Let's get it rocking, chat. Zero Aura in the active comp search order pad. Brilliant. Just what we wanted. Zerua, Paralyzing Gaze. All righty then. Let's order up. Order up, fellas. Busted card. Let's see, we got Nest Ball. We can go get, uh, yeah, probably Nest Ball. Go get ourselves the Tapu Koko Prism Star or something like that. Or the, yeah, the Pika Ram. Yeah, we're going to get that. That's always, like, my starter. And then we're going to see if we hit this one, too. Absolutely insane, chat. Absolutely insane. All right. So I think we're going for the turn one Lily for sure. Keeping Guzma in hand is fantastic. So let's uh, get Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is actually, hmm. I think we just get max elixir. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. And then I'm going to nest ball here, get myself a Picaram. Busted deck. We are high on these today, chat. We are high on these order pad flips. We are definitely cruising with these. All right, there we go. And we can get ourselves just a lily. We can just go straight for lily. No. We don't play Lily in this deck. Gosh. All right, chat, I need to put a Lily in here. What? Oh, chat, I forgot there's no Lily in this deck. This isn't standard. Man. All right, just one. Chat, we need one. Let's see. Hmm, how do we do this? Shaman. That's how we do this. Do the old-fashioned style. There we go. Max Elixir. Nothing. Unbelievable. All right. And then we're going to set up for four. See how we do. Oh, well. Okay, chat. 
That was bad. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have done that differently. Oh, well. We'll see. Tough stuff. That was amazing. I just needed to get... I needed a lily. All right. First thing I'm doing, chat. We're putting a lily back in this deck. One lily. One lily. Right. One. For sure. One lily in the deck. So that you could just go for it on turn one when you get it. I think filling your hand to eight on the first turn of the game is absolutely nuts. So, I mean, there's a bunch of things we could have done there. I could have comp searched for... I guess if I'm only setting up for four, I probably should have just gone for N. It just felt so underwhelming. I liked my hand. Could have gone for Juniper, but I liked keeping the Guzman and the Electro Power, and I was kind of like, I was kind of set on keeping those. So, weird. Oh, well, looks like my opponent's hand is like worse than mine, and we actually are totally fine here. Yeah, so we're just going to Guzma up the Ditto. Yep. A-okay. Fine with it, never punished. And uh, we're gonna full blitz this fella for knockout for sure. And we're going alpha dog here. I'm gonna put all these onto the active. And uh, yeah, uh, incoming turn two, tag bolt GX. There we go. Who needs it? We need the <laughs> we need the 10th win on this win streak. Let's go. Let's go chat. Put your rally caps on chat. Let's go chat. All right, send me your luck chat. My Zoroar is hiding underneath my deck box. I don't know why. Oh, what do we got here? Thank you so much, Otaku. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. Let's see. Otaku Clint, second month. Thank you so much, Otaku Clint, for the sub. Appreciate it. Chat, let's send Otaku Clint some love with them emotes. Appreciate it. Thug Duck. Let's get it. All right, so we've got Tag Bolt, GX, Knockout. I think we go for... Yeah, we got six. E-Power. And we just take... Yeah, we just take them down with me, dude. I think we go here, and I think I actually just knock out the other Zerua. Like, I want to keep him from getting as much draw as I can, because he's only got a four-card hand. So we're trying here to see if we can do it. Now, fortunately, I have not used my I have not used my Tapu Koko Prism Star yet. So if we just draw anything, chat, if I can draw anything, we're gonna be golden. Oh, that is an ability garb though. Sketch, and they've got N. Okay. Kind of wishing that I benched this other Pico Rob now, but oh well. Thank you so much, Lionheart, for the raid. Appreciate it. Now, we could be in a little bit of trouble here if my opponent gets the ability lock. Um, I definitely just got this Ultra Ball. But I do have Trainer's Mail, so we could hit a supporter off of that, which would be awesome. Just really wishing that I had um, bench that other peek around. It's all good, though. He's probably, he's not going to be knocking me out. I don't think that there's any way that he does that. He just doesn't have the cards. Well, okay, I spoke too soon. He could knock me out. He needs a bunch more bench Pokemon, though. And he's only got one trade. I'm not sure if he's traded yet. Lionheart, yes. The rotation news is exciting, Lionheart. I agree. I think that it's a, I think that it's a, a good play. I think it's exciting. It's going to you know, shake things up for sure. Uh, I'm excited to see what different kinds of decks. Uh, I'm excited to see Zor gone, DC gone, Guzma gone. I think that these are going to be fantastic, right? I think it's fantastic to see these uh, getting out of here, right? And I think Guzma leaving is, is just good for the game in general because it just weakens status conditions and is just uh, probably too powerful of a card. Lele gone as well. Looks like my opponent, let's see, I had to do 120 now. I got an ace roll, I just need one more bench Pokemon. It's a knockout. He's got trade. Let's see. Has he got one more? Probably. Probably he's got it. He's drawn a lot this turn. The crazy thing would be is if he's got the ability lock and the knockout. If he's got ability lock knockout, like I probably just lose here. He's got the egg for it. Oh my gosh. 
That's it, chat. I think I'm done. I think I lose. Oh, chat. Why? Why, chat? Well, he doesn't have the ability lock. Thank goodness for that. All right. He's got a while to go here. I only got one lot, one knockout left to take. All right. Let's see if we could do this. We've got an electro power. That's the last thing that I want to discard. I think I have another Shaman left in the deck, right? And we're about to go see. Lele. We got Lele. All right. That'll do. We're going to have to go get ourselves a Sycamore, Juniper, whatever. Yeah. Colrus, actually, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. It's eight. All right. Yeah, we're getting Colrus. All right. So let's see here. Colrus for eight. Come on. Come on, deck. All right. We've got some potential things that can go here. Now, who is going to be... Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, let's see if we hit this order pad. No? Okay. Well, let's see if we hit this max elixir. We do. All right. It's one energy. Trainer's mail. We could get myself another energy there, potentially. Yeah. I'm going to see what we can do. Busted. Deck. Okay. Another trainer's mail. Come on. Ultra Ball, Guzma, Guzma will do. All right, all I need to do is live through the turn, chat. That is it. All this dude needs to do, Picaram just needs to not die, and I've got game next turn. That's it. So, I don't think that there's any way he can knock out my Picaram with this deck. He doesn't even have a Trubbish in play. He can't take advantage of that. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, yeah, yeah. He would have done it with the Trash Alanche Garbodor if he plays it. But otherwise, I've just got Guzma for Shaman, and that's game. And we should be we should be Gucci. So, so he probably will end me. I think he knows that I have Guzma. No. Noodles. Nah, going for Colrus. All right. Six. So you guys just saw that. I mean, we had no energy on board last turn. We had no, I mean, we got it all wiped out. And then we went from zero to four energy again. Absolutely filthy deck. I don't even think I attached for a turn this turn. I don't, I don't think that I did. I think we'd max elixir a bunch. Max elixir like twice and then Tapu coco Oh, yikes, chat. This could be bad. Yep, going to need a damage modifier, or at least a couple. But I do have choice bands and electro powers in the deck, so I can definitely do it. I just don't know how yet. If I top deck choice band or a electro power, we could just Guzma for game on the Lele. But he's not going to be knocking out my Zero Ori either, so he has to tread carefully. Like I don't really know what he plans on doing either. He is just obviously preventing his auto-lose condition, which is good, but he's also preventing his win condition. So it's uh, he's kind of just biding more time, I guess. He doesn't have anything in the deck that can take uh, do like the snipe damage required to win this game. So we'll see what we get. He's going to lock things up, though, and hit it into my Zara Aura. That's fine. Um, honestly, hmm. I like having Guzma in my hand. I could Guzma myself, but then if he Acerolas, no. There's no weird spot here. Um,. I think I probably Juniper. I have one Guzma left in deck. It's tough. I think I probably Juniper here. Sure, I don't know. We'll do that. Okay. So. I 
think that's good. I mean, it doesn't matter. I've already GX'd. So I guess, like, I want to... No, I mean, if he takes a knockout there, we're good. I mean, I'm going to get myself, like, closer to retreating this guy, just in case. And then we're going to save everything else in the deck. I'm going to bench this Jolteon so that I don't draw back into it if he ends me. I'm not going to put down the Choice Band yet because he might Field Blower it. So we're just going to pass, and that's it. All right. So we'll see here. I've got Choice Band, Trainer's Mail, and Juniper to try and win the game with Pika Rom next turn if he hits me. And sure, he just is going to hit me. Okay, so we uh, have a pretty good shot at just winning the game right here with our Pika Rom. And let's see what we do. Sure enough, we got it. E Power, Choice Band, GG's, no re, full blitz. Four, that's it, right? 60, four, yeah, one, 210, busted. All right, and that's it. 10 win streak. All right, time to ruin it with. One more game. We could do Nag Quag. One more. Uno Mas, right? Nag Quag. Final game of the day. We got a win streak of 10. Let's get it, chat. All right. Feeling good on this Thursday morning. Excellent stuff. So, we got it. 10 win streak. Mission accomplished. Uh, it's only been a few times that I've been able to do that on stream. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's play some Nag Quag. Let's just, uh, let's just mess it all up with some Nag Quag. Sure. Sandra Wambolt's list here. And yeah, we'll get it. Busted. Oh, we lose all the, I know, all the balls. Are we losing, really, like, Ultra Ball? Is Ultra Ball gone, Natalie? Yeah, we'll say replay at the next set. It's, gone. it's insane. Ultra Ball. Uh, Nest Ball, too? Yeah. Net Ball is still here. Net Ball. We, we keep net. Timer Ball gone? Mm -hmm. Good riddance. I didn't like that card anyway. Yeah. Um, Pokecom. I guess we're going to be playing a lot of Pokecom. And also, lightning decks are going to have that uh, lightning thing, right? The lightning thing that gets two Pokemon EX or GX lightning types, right? So we still have those, which is true. All right, Whale Lord, front and center, final game, guys. This is my final game of the day. Thank you guys all so much for catching the morning stream. Like I said, going to be seeing if I can get some proxies printed out for next format decks and see if I can get... I have you have them already? Yes, I carry them on my shirt. Thank you, Natalie. Natalie's the best, guys. So I'm going to see if I can uh, maybe get some recorded games of that up as soon as possible. Definitely uh, something that I'm looking to do, so keep you guys posted on that. Also, pre-orders for singles from Unbroken Bonds as well as Booster Boxes are going to be available we got booster boxes available now on fullgroupgames.com. Pre-orders for singles are going to be available within the next couple of hours. Sean and I are about to bang that out. So let's see. We are playing against some sort of Zork Garbodor deck. I'm in expanded format. Yikes, guys. All right. I am playing a standard Nag Quag in expanded format. Yeah, no, that's one way to ruin a win streak. It's expanded format. Yeah. Meant to be standard, fellas. All right, it's fine. We got to 10, you know. We had to just... Uh, End it real quick. Quag Bolt. There we go. What? Uno Mas. We forgot what format we were in. That'll happen sometimes. But uh, last one. Last game. This deck is so sketchy. I don't know how it sets up at all. This is so sketchy. Train OY. Thank you so much for the bits, Train OY. Appreciate it. Thanks for the love, man. Shout out to Train OY for being awesome. Show him some uh, love with our Thug Duck. Chat, thank you. All right. Let's see, we're going to give Naganadel a run for its money here. And I said this earlier, but if you guys weren't here, this is going to be the last stream of the week, unless I'm able to stream tonight, which is a possibility. Uh, but the last stream of the week, because I'm not going to be here tomorrow morning, okay? Because I'm going to be traveling to Baltimore to visit family for Easter. So hang tight. I'll be back on Monday. Thinking about maybe getting a stream in tonight. So I'll let you guys know. You can uh, find me on Twitter at EnjoyFriend. I'll keep you guys posted. If I am on tonight, it'll be with Next Format Decks. Okay? Trying to get some recorded videos up for the weekend while I'm gone so that I have something for YouTube to post. But uh, I'll let you guys know. All right? And uh, here we go. 
Nagquag, this is the dream setup, chat. This is like what we want. This is what we've dreamed of all along. Ultra Ball away, two waters. And it looks like yeah, we're just going to be able to get a Lele here, get ourselves a turn one supporter. So fantastic stuff. I'll just throw these down here. And I actually don't really want to Brooklyn Hill. We're just going to get ourselves a Lily. Hey, Lily, that's what I'm talking about. Can't this deck just set up like this every time? That would just be great. Wouldn't that just be great? I think that'd just be great. We got one Poiple. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Water. Water. And then uh, we could probably get ourselves, like, yeah, one of these guys. That's cool, too. Yeah, we'll get that guy. Short. And then, uh, ooh, we could Jet Geyser. Oh, yeah, let's Jet Geyser for sure, right? Uh, jet Geyser seems pretty busted. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, Jet Geyser. Short. Yeah, bring that Zapdos up. Yeah, bring him up. Yeah, go ahead. Your turn. What's up, AJH? Welcome. Yes, happy Easter to all. Yes, for sure. Now, I'm excited to go visit Baltimore. The weather's nice there. Love my family. You know, great relationship with them. So, excited to visit home for the holidays for sure. Looking forward to that. I'm going to be salty if I win this game. We could have gone on to an 11 win streak, but uh, I accidentally rolled with Nagquag in expanded format. Listen, Nagquag is already over its head in standard format. Talk about expanded format, really in over its head, okay? Like, entirely in, like a fish out of water. Can't really handle it. All right, we've got Shrine to deal with. It's fine. And they've got a big lily hand, so they're going to be lilying for six. It's pretty good. And they're going to be on the hunt for a switch card there. Sure enough, they got it. And they're just going to take the knockout here with Zapdos. Now, Wambolt was debriefing me on this matchup a little bit. It's uh, it's interesting. I think you try to go and soften everything up with this Volcanion Prism Star. And then you just try to Wailord for game. So you literally just try to achieve a win a win state where you just take all six prizes in one turn. That's what you try to do. My opponent somehow got me a better hand, so it's excellent. They're just going to scoop it up. All right, chat. They scooped. I was going to win that one. I feel pretty convinced, but honestly, I have to get to work. It's about uh, that time. Full grip opened nine minutes ago, so i got to go work the shop, but thank you guys all for an incredible stream this morning. Appreciate it. Awesome viewership. Thank you all for the views. Thank you to the uh, to the subs, guys, for your support of the channel, for the bits as well, Lionheart for the raid, thank you so much, and also thank you to everybody who gave the channel a follow, just checking me out maybe for the first time, thank you guys so much for hanging out this morning, I am going to be getting uh, next format decks built and on film, that is something that we're going to be getting shortly, so I'll keep you guys posted. Not going to be back tomorrow morning, but might be back tonight. So you can find me on Twitter at EnjoyFriend to keep up with when I'm going to be streaming or just give the channel a follow. That would be pretty sick, too. So thank you guys all for an awesome time. Zach, thank you so much for the bits. Appreciate it. Zach from Black Tickle Canada, the uh, internet hanging in there enough for today's stream so appreciate it zach thank you so much for the love and the bits as always my dude your moo moo dose call this morning was great great way to start off the stream started off with a win and got a 10 win streak today so that was awesome as well and uh full grip games we're gonna be having pre-orders for the next set up today within the next couple of hours i will also be tweeting out when pre-orders for the unbroken bond set go live so make sure to stay tuned for that and yeah exciting stuff brand new format crazy for worlds can't believe it y'all have a great day and a blessed weekend if i don't catch you between now and monday all right take it easy peace